second uh, we please subscribe sporta tv for more information moto gp and formula one 2023 circulating unpleasant news coming from the ducati team Ducati can be very dominant in MotoGP 2022 and now the Desma Cetisi motorbike has the status of the most competitive package, so the figure of the Ducati boss, Mr. Gigi Daligna, deserves he praise. Coming to MotoGP in 2014 after success with Aprilia in the Superbike World Championship, it only took a few years for Daligna to make Desma Cetisi motorbikes respected. The peak is in 2022. Thanks to Gigi Daligna's cold hands, Ducati has won the MotoGP World Championship in the hands of Peko Bagnaia after Casey Stoner last won the Ducati World Championship in the 2007 season. But now the Italian media, Tuttosport, make a hypothesis, the chances of divorce between Daligna and Ducati. Media Tuttosport writes that there is a possibility that Gigi Daligna will serve at Audi Sport and leave Ducati. The fact is that Audi and Ducati are still one group. For sure, uh, the, the, the On one occasion, this man from Italy was asked about the opportunity to join Audi one day. Moreover, Audi allegedly has a project that could make Daligna leave the frenetic MotoGP. It was stated that Audi is building a power unit which will later appear in the Formula 1 event starting in the 2026 season. Yes, as Gigi Daligna said, Audi's call is very difficult for him to refuse. If one day they call me, then maybe I'll think about it, said the boss of Ducati, namely father Gigi Daligna. On the other hand, after winning the third podium at the Thermos de Rio Hondo Argentina MotoGP last week, Alex Marquez with the Grazzini Ducati team got satisfying results, he took pole position and won the third podium at the Thermos de Rio Hondo circuit. Alex Marx admitted that he was unable to catch up with Valentino Rossi's protege, Marco Bezzecchi, who looked very impressive, especially on a wet track after a rain. The race was a bit difficult for us, because in the warm-up I couldn't do a lot of laps to try the electronics and the setup. In the end, for this reason I fought very hard. But anyway, we should be happy. Marco today was on another level from the first laps and I said ciao. It's impossible for me to be able to catch up with him. With Banyaya, we only had two overtakes, so it's not a fight, he pushed a lot when he fell. In the last corner he was very fast on the brakes, but then he lost on the halfway point like I crashed yesterday in Q1. Then, in the last laps, it was also difficult to keep Morbidelli behind and Johan got one second in one lap. I pushed a lot. I try not to make mistakes. It was a race for survival but we held up very well and took the podium after 2020. There is still a long way to go, said Ducati Grazzini racer Alex Marquez.